all right hello guys welcome back to this channel this is Ziga Akimbola speaking in today's video i'll sh be showing you how you can download your status report from the corporate affairs commission so um there are two ways to download your status report from the corporate affairs commission and this depends on your position or the kind of portal you have access to right so the first method i'll be showing you is the way you can download it from your own portal so let's say you registered your business by yourself and you need the status report to be downloaded all you need to do is go log into the account right so let's go to the uh, pre.cc.gov.ng once you go there well, all you want to do is to um log into the account come to login and once you log in add in your uh, details your username your password okay all right so once you um have your login details you log in you submit the username submit the password i believe you know how to uh, get access to your account just one minute all right so once you're able to log in um so you come to the registered to check the details of your business right so once you check the details of the business uh, it will show up the uh, name of the business all right so um let's allow it to load up as well once the once the uh, document are completely downloaded right so um are completely <laughs> um the registration is completely loaded just come to click on document download document so it's going to show if it depending on if it's a business name or if it's a company for company it will show you three documents to be downloaded the MIMA, the status report and the certificate for business name it's going to show you two set two documents the status report and the certificate right so in this case this is a business name i'm trying to do we'll be um getting option for the status report um, so this, this is more or less a way to download your status report or your certificate whatever the case is right so it will load up here and then you make depending on when you are downloading you can you'll be making a payment of five thousand if you have exceeded seven days after registration was completed and you can see that this particular registration was done around 2019 right so i will have i'll be definitely paying some of five thousand to get this um registration done uh, to get the document out right so it will pop up here i don't know the network is a bit bad to pop up here so let me quickly go and show you the second method on how to do it so now this particular method it means that you don't have access to an accredited agent account you don't have access to um, a the account that was used to create the business or that used to register the business or you were not the one that registered the business by yourself or you no longer have access to the person who registered the business or you lost your login details to be able to access the um the, um, the portal where the business registration was actually done so as an accredited agent you can download any certificate for your client right even for yourself so all you need to do is come to the account type in the name of the business so let's start for the same business 360 seconds easy media so let's search for this particular business and then this is the business we click on proceed to dashboard okay now you can see this is i'm going back to that other one so you can click on status report if you want the certificate as well you mark it right so you click on pay once you click on pay you take it to the meter and the rest is you're, you're aware of the rest you make payment and then immediately the document will be downloadable and you must be able to, our advice you should not use your mobile phone right i won't advise you your mobile phone for this use your a laptop use a pc to carry out this process very important right so um for the post incorporation now so how do you download it here you come to um search um where is it now um request for okay business name status report this is for business name now status report so we that same business name we put in there 360 seconds easy media okay so it will pop up and show us the details of the business anyways and this is public um, information the others are public informations so once the, the informations are correct you click on views details once click on view details now you have to provide an email address so let's provide an email address we want it to be sent to provide an email address and the name of the person you are sending to and the phone number once the details have been provided these are just general details and are not necessarily correct so you just put in save and continue once click on save and continue now this is what will happen you're making payment of five thousand naira to CAC to download the document for you or to get the document across to you right the same way you be paying five thousand naira from this place you will also be paying five thousand from here but how do you do this for a company registration so let's do this for a company registration let's come to dashboard let's look for a company 
so let's use this particular company um let's say we want to download um the um, certificate for this particular the status report for this particular company so once we search for the company and it brings up the company the next thing we need to do is to come now this is what you need to do you need to take note of this there's no you will not see the same option you saw the other time right you don't see option of a download status report or something so what you come to do is look for company search <laughs> company search uh, company search this company search so that's in company search you type the name of this business 34 SND right so you search for the business as well once search for the business okay um, 34 SND uh, I didn't take note of the name of the company right 34 SND Okay, let's just do this for existing search I mean. so now okay so let before we even do for existing search let's just pick a name a company okay this is a company so you click on search you can see for the company all you need to do is view details right view details once you view details you provide the login details right provide um, login details use details where they will send it to save and continue and go and pay now what about if you have finished paying now look up now this is very important what about if you have finished uh, making payment and you are not able to download it and you need to redownload this status report actually right even though maybe the first time you downloaded it and you couldn't get it you need to it. all you need to do is very simple come back to that company search as well but he this time that you toggle this up on so you toggle this the existing search on and you'll be inputting the RRR of the payment that you made so when you put the rr it you now click on search it you bring out the status report and you just download once and for all without any stress this is very easy right you download without any stress so let me just use the opportunity to also show you how you can download your certificate as well in this particular case so here we call it certified true copy says you only issue one certificate by registration so any other document you get second time is called um certified true copy so let's look for certified true copy this is satisfied true copy. So satisfied true copy can be your MIMAT and your certificate, right? So you can request for CTC. It's a very tedious process. You have to provide. Um, you can see that th these are the two major documents you need to supply for this, right? You need to supply this document and other details of the director and everything. Once you do that, you preview, you pay, and then you go ahead with the registration. I don't want to expose too much information of anybody, right? So. I believe this helps you to be able to carry out downloads of your documents with the Corporate Affairs Commission both on your own portal or on an accredited agent portal. Thank you. See you in other videos.